Hey, good morning guys. Today's Tuesday, March 31st. Um, today's a super, super quick video. Um, we'll start with a prayer because I was just looking at the prayer intention board. We've got about 60 intentions that you guys have posted so far. Again, it's awesome. I love reading through you guys' intentions and being able to pray with you. Um, so let's start off. You might want to pause this video. Why don't you go back and look at the prayer intentions everyone's posted. Um, there's quite a few of them, so just read through those before we start to pray and then we'll begin. All right, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the newness that you bring um, each time we wake up, uh, all the good things that you plan to bring out of our day and out of our lives. We trust that you have good things planned for us um, and that we just need to truly believe that you have what's best in mind for us. Help us to love our families, those that we are stuck at home with, Help us to grow in patience and the virtue of hope. Um, help us to avoid sinking into a sense of despair or um, dwelling in loneliness. Help us to con continue to be um, brothers and sisters in Christ, to reach out to one another, especially those who are struggling with being isolated. We pray that we remain steadfast in our um, determination to get our work done. We continue to reach out for help when we need it. We pray specifically for the intentions on the board that we have posted on, um, for the elderly, for the homeless, for those suffering from coronavirus, for so many of y'all's family members who are ill, those with cancer, long-term illnesses, and those of the intentions that we still have that remain silent in our hearts. We lift up all those intentions as we say, glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right, so um, today, super simple. Um, we're just going to continue on in our reading of A Man for All Seasons. The reason is because you still have to take your quiz if you have not taken it. That A Man for All Seasons quiz is open until today at 4. It was assigned yesterday at noon. It'll be due today at 4 o'clock, and then it closes out for good. Um, and I'm not going to reopen that quiz. I don't know that I even can for individual people. So um, that is due today at 4. Make sure you've studied. So I've gotten a couple messages so far, um, and I'm thankful that you guys sent me messages that it was not enough time um, or that you didn't have quite enough time to think through each answer and that it got a bit rushed. You do only have 15 minutes. Um, this is the first time I've done uh, an assessment that's timed with you guys, um, so it's a bit experimental. Um, that being said, I might be a little bit more gracious when all the results come in. If it was obvious that you know everyone really needed more time, um, I might find a way to slightly scale the results or you know find a way to give you a few points back. We'll just I'm going to look at the results and we'll see what those are. Um, but no fear, don't worry. Um, you'll see your own results whether you got you know these right or those right today at four. The results will show themselves um, once everyone's taken the quiz. So don't stress, but I am glad that some of you guys are messaging me and giving me some feedback on the time um, and the difficulty of the quiz. So make sure you've taken it by four, um, and then I'll be able to turn around and give you a grade for that and you know potentially give you some points back. We'll just have to see. So today you're gonna continue to read. You should be on page 113. I need you to be at page 125 for tomorrow's class. Tomorrow's class is gonna be a discussion board, and you're gonna have to have read through page 125 okay so today very simple finish the quiz if you haven't taken it yet start it and finish it um, if you have taken it great pick up your book and read to page 125 that'll get you ready for tomorrow's assignment which is a discussion board question you'll be graded on um, doing what I ask which is gonna be making a comment on the discussion board that's you know thoughtful and unique um, I will take off points if you say the same thing that other people in your class have already said um, you're going to have to, you know, maybe go on first and reply with your comment if you're worried that you won't be able to think of something different than what everyone else is saying. So think, uh, thinking of something unique to say, something thoughtful, and that shows me that you've read through page 125 is going to be where you get your points for tomorrow. All right, so read, do your quiz, keep posting on the prayer intention board. I'll keep praying for you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. All right, see you soon.